Which banner are you under? Welcome back. I'm glad you could join us once again. Today, as we discuss this critical topic of loyalty, I ask you to prayerfully search your heart and be honest when you ask yourself the following questions. Do you stand under the bloodstained banner of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ? Or do you stand under the dark banner of the arch rebel and enemy of our souls, Satan? John 3, 3 says, Jesus answered and said unto him, Verily, verily, I say unto thee, Except a man be born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. We know that in John 3, 3, Jesus was not speaking of a literal rebirth, but rather a spiritual rebirth, a dying to self and the things of this world, and a rising through baptism, to walk in the newness of life in Christ Jesus, our Lord. If we are born again in Him, we will walk in His Spirit and follow and practice the truth of His Word. If after prayerful searching, you find that your current life, habits, words, and even your so-called friends just don't fall under the blood-stained banner of Prince Emmanuel, don't despair. If you know you are living a dark life, if you doubt God in your heart, if you're tired of what this world has to offer, maybe someone or some situation has caused you deep pain and you find yourself chasing the wind for answers, for a way out, don't lose hope. 2 Peter 3.9 tells us, The Lord is not slack concerning His promise as some men count slackness, that is long-suffering to us, word, not willing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. That's right. God is long-suffering and doesn't want any of us to perish. All He asks is that we repent. We all have hope while there is breath of life in us. While our probation lingers, we can still repent, turn from our evil ways, adjust our words and worldly habits, and perhaps even change our friends so that we can confidently say, Today I stand under the blood-stained banner of my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Today I can boldly say, I know that my Redeemer liveth. Our closing scripture, Philippians 4.13 reads, I can do all things through Christ which strengtheneth me. It is my prayer for all joining today that you will take hold of God, stand under the blood-stained banner of Jesus Christ, and allow the transforming power of His grace to cause you to reflect His image fully, that you may be counted worthy of a place in His kingdom. Until we meet again, Maranatha.